All right, legends, in this video, we're going to learn how to refund. We are going to pay somebody back, not just give them credit. We're not doing a credit memo. We are going to reimburse them by giving them a check or cutting them a check. They have given us money and now they want it back for whatever reason. So head to your sales transactions. So I'm going to click on transactions, click on sales, and let's find a client who has paid us. You're definitely going to know when they paid you when it says closed right here. Closed means we have their money. It is closed out with both banks, our bank and their bank. Paid doesn't necessarily mean that. Closed will have a minus sign next to it, and this is who I'm looking to refund. So I'm going to refund Big Dog right here. Um, he bought something off me for a dollar. He didn't like it, Now I need to give him some money back. I'm going to pay him in full. Customer is always right, so they say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to add another transaction, and I'm going to click on refund receipt not credit memo we're giving them money back we're not just going to credit something to their account refund receipt what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose that customer now it was big dog and i owe him a dollar all the emails populate or the information that i have on that um, client or customer populates payment method i am going to cut them a check i'm going to go ahead and cut them a check from what account um just whatever account has sufficient funds okay service date that's today february 4th uh enter text or scroll down i'm going to click refund add refund yes name refund is this a sub no it's not description on sales form price rate uh is this taxable um no no it was a service it wasn't a product save and close Description, we are refunding a dollar for whatever reason. So you need to track this now. You actually go ahead and need to send them a check from this account. And when it shows it back in your banking transactions, you need to close it out. So this is $1. Total amount refunded. Uh, it's a dollar. That's what we owed him. That's what he paid for. Um, save and close. If you want to click save and new, depending on how many refunds you have, but I don't. I just want to save this and close this. Okay, refund recent, re, refund recent 70. Okay, so now what are we going to do? How do we know that our refund's been accounted for? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to look at chart of accounts, and it should be in our income under refunds. So from the top, scroll down, refunds allowances right here. Let's go and click on the report. And there it is. All right, big dog. Memo description, $1 for whatever reason. So our refunds are in the ex are in the perfect account we want them in. We want them in our in income account under refunds. If you don't have that account, go ahead and create it. Uh, I did a video on how to create an account under your chart of accounts. So we'll check this in our banking transactions. Let's go to transactions and let's click on sales. Sort by date. Okay, perfect. There it is. Here's today's date. Here's the refund. The big dog status paid. When they now it's on your hand. I I said I was going to send them a check. I need to mail them a check. And when he cashes it, I'll go ahead and close this out. And this will go from paid to close. So I definitely re, I refunded the customer. I made him happy. The customer is always right. And when you refund your customers, you want to make sure that the account it goes to is refunds under income in your chart of accounts. I'm falling asleep at the wheel. Have a good night. See you guys tomorrow.